after that dog! Oh my. What the hell? What's that? Oh hey! It's Rajin! What? Flower fields? Ra- what? It was terrible! This all just fell flat on the floor after eating that fish the man brought. Maybe it wasn't good fish. <laughs> well, let's go chase him down. Clearly. Clearly, uh... Hey you! Step back! This could be dangerous! The commander's just about to... Food and c control your temper, you know? I was just patrolling, just like you told me. I even woke up that search dog, sleeping on the job, you know? Uh, I think you're on your own here. Ryan! What indeed? We're here to liberate Balem! I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sever told us to give you a weapon if we saw you, you know? You, you soldiers, help me out too! So, this jerk... Okay, I know early, I know last episode I said Earth and Wind. Actually, you should have Lightning and Wind. Raijin here, as his name suggests, uh, uses Lightning magic. He absorbs lightning, in fact, but he is indeed weak against, uh, poison. In fact, I'm- ooh. Let's go for it. Uh, also, yeah, I don't really need this stuff, do I? Uh, let's try to steal from you. I guess I could use protect on myself, but why even bother? He does not have very much HP. <laughs> In fact, I am a little bit concerned I won't be able to, uh, steal from him. Well, actually, he could have a fair amount of HP. Here's the thing. I think I've gone to this before, but boss- Most level enemies in this game scale with your level, bo and bosses are no exception. However, unlike most other enemies, bosses will get- have upper and lower limits to how much their level will scale. Most bosses have a, hmm, well, I actually I cannot with authority make a comment on most bosses, but in the case of Raijin, he has a very low lower limit uh, compared to most bosses. Like, his range is much larger, and is mostly much larger in the downward direction. <laughs> I'm really not going to be able to steal from him at this rate. You know, I guess I may as well cast Protect on myself. I mean, I generally don't really care about... Like, I really don't... I'm going to draw Protect from you with Renoa because I may as well, but I really don't care about it. I, I just want your damn loot. Drawing Protect is, re is just a time waster, mostly. You know, come to think of it, I'm not sure that Raijin here actually does use, uh, actually does cast any magic. I do know he absorbs lightning. Like, in theory, he would cast lightning if he used any magic, but I'm not sure that he does. Well, whatever. Just steal from him already, Cell. Damn it, Cell! Uh, no cure either. Whatever. Oh hey, did I? I did give you GF. I'm gonna summon Leviathan, but not probably not against this guy. Oh, we got it. Okay, yeah, that was worth it. That was worthwhile, I think. Now, let's kill him. 
shouldn't take too much. You know, maybe we will summon Leviathan against you. Why the heck not, right? Oh, well that's odd. Normally, Raijin here will not attack women. In fact, there's a special way you can finish this battle. If, if he KOs all of your party members other than, well, Renoa in this case, other than the woman character, he will just call it quits. Because he will not attack them. I guess that doesn't count for his GF, though. Hmm, go figure. Something else I... well, hmm. It's also worth mentioning, Rajin here is vulnerable to sleep and dark. Obviously not very vulnerable. I haven't inflicted dark, or rather sleep on him. But you can put him to sleep and you can inflict darkness. Well, we win. We did it! Yay! And that was Leviathan. This is actually a really good area to use Leviathan. <laughs> Like, just for looking at it. It's a nice open area, and Leviathan has a serious problem with clipping through backgrounds. <laughs> okay, can I please change my GFs before the commander comes out? No, no, zap, no, wait, wait, zap, no, ow! Well... Fujin, looks like you're on your own. Are you still willing to fight? RAGE! It's Raijin. So yeah, uh, if Raijin was Thunder, Fujin, once again, as her name implies, uh, is Wind. Now, first thing is first in this battle. The very first thing we will do is the most important thing we will do. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, watch out for Float, um, it will wreck your shit. <laughs> but no, Fujin here has PANDEMONIUM! So, uh, yeah, we got that, Gia. Let's, uh, let's heal Zell. And let's steal. Okay, that was a little lackluster. Okay, we got him the first time around this time. Uh, let's use Protect. Let's steal from her. Fujin, by the way, has less HP. So... I don't need Arrow. Uh, so... I suggest trying to kill her first. Did I steal from her? I didn't- I didn't see. Alone! Where? I did not. Well, I'll continue casting to protect them. And I'll continue drawing protect, I guess. Uh... But yeah, like I said, Fujin has less HP, so she is the choice target for being the first target. Mega Lexer, awesome. Cast that on her. Continue drawing protect, because why the hell not? And if you hit Squall once or twice more, I should be able to get some limit breaks off with him. That would be nice. Of course, putting Protect on him probably didn't help in that regard, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Oh hey, I put her to sleep. You see, I wasn't full of shit. They're actually vulnerable to that. Oh, no, that's the wrong target. Although, I have put her to sleep now, so... Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's just, uh, let's just finish her off. 
I guess. Um, if I were a higher level, I would be able to draw Tornado from her. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's do something about that right there. Yeah, do that, Renoa. Cannon? Lame. Okay, uh, not totally lame. Although, still not really what I was hoping to get, but you know, it's hard to complain about that result. Another good reason, by the way, to go after her first, uh, she can do that. Oh, and now Zell's at 1 HP, which is unfortunate because I cannot do his limit break on the computer. Uh, it's just not happening. That's what I wanted! Welcome to invulnerability mode! <laughs> this right here is why Renoa is amazing. Well, one of the reasons why. A big reason why. Okay. Squall, can you, uh... No. Damn it. Oh hey, that that did her. I was rot draw! Fuji Rajin, go! Eh. Okay, I fucked up immediately. I'm gonna just do the ones that I know I can do for sure. Uh and we're done. Didn't take very long, did it? You know I'm not gonna get it. I need slightly less HP. Also, being vulnerable honestly may not help. Oh, well, oh hey, actually, my invulnerability wore off. I should do something about that. And the person I can draw cure from is dead as well, so... I should, what, okay, what I should have done is I should have used AGF with Zell there. Ow. Okay, I'm just doing the directional ones because they're the ones where I actually know what the button is. Uh, that's the way this is going. Even so, and my timing on this is honestly pretty poor, I just did a respectable amount of damage there. You know what? Oh, hey, no, he's dead. Okay then. Fujin. I lost two, you know? Yep. Oh, I know. But now... Oh, hey, that's... Well, not actually useful. Uh, I cannot do Zell's Limit Break. <laughs> that I really wish I'd been able to change around. Oh, well. Wait. Di Diablo's got... Damn it, Diablos! <laughs> but we got Pendamo... No. Which is really helpful. Are the two of you taking orders from the sorceress? Negative! The sorceress has nothing to do with us, you know? We're acting on our own. We're on Cypher's side, you know? And Cypher's on the side of the sorceress. Just up to you. But, enough is enough. This can't, this isn't an internal garden conflict. Eh. We can't back out, you know? Cypher has a lot of followers, but we're his only friends. We're a posse, you know? The Gabadian soldiers are only listening to Cypher because they fear the sorceress. Without us, Cypher wouldn't have a posse, you know? If you guys stand behind him that much... Tell friggin' Cypher to stop this nonsense! <laughs> They're good. These two are actually pretty good friends. And pretty good people. Mostly. I 
I would like to think that it is partially their influence that si that you know stops Balan from being burnt down. From now on, we're not gonna hold back. Don't wanna talk anymore, you know? Kinda painful, you know? <laughs> RUN! A little bit, yeah. Friend or foe, it all comes down to circumstance. That's how we were raised, it's nothing special. Let's go. Where to next? Hello, excuse me! Have you decided on a destination? Still thinking. Yeah. Can we go to Trabia, maybe? It's like, in the mountain, so maybe the sorcerer will leave it alone. But maybe, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Well, you heard her. Next stop. Totally not Trabia. Uh this is an excellent time to start on side quest. Uh, but before that, that's the thing for next episode. For this episode, we need to like go through some of this shit. Like that, I don't think so. Spirit plus 40. Please? Ifrit should be doing... I mean... I guess logically this is the next choice. Definitely magic boost. Uh, definitely HP plus 80. Definitely not this. So many better options. I already have HP junction, but, you know, accuracy is not bad. Uh, that is good. That is not. Uh, maybe that one, but probably... Auto Potion or Spirit? Hmm... Probably... Spirit. But Pandemona! Pandemona is a wind GF. But most importantly by far is this right here. Speed up! Which we need to master, like, post haste. As fast as possible. Ha, hardy har har. Uh, but seriously, this is just amazing. Is how good and important it is. Uh, so. Here's the thing. We will be heading to Tralbia. Oh, I can finally judge Zell. That's nice. Uh, we will be heading to Tralbia eventually. That's the next story location. But we will not be going there for a while. If I can bring this full map up here. Shumi Village is here. This is a place we'll want to go, but we'll be going here. Like, this is... Tribe is way over here, right? This is the last place I'm going to go before I go to Tralbia. Uh, mostly. Uh, we'll, we'll see what I mean by that when we get there, uh, which we haven't yet. I want to do some stuff down here. And also, uh, here, Windhill. Ha! Ah, and also, look, there, there are a lot of places I want to go to, is what I'm saying. So I'm going to go to some of them. This is side quest time. Oh, but check this out, eh? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big hole. Uh, so anyway, uh, we don't actually need to go off on the beach. We can go off of any cliff, I think. Let's, let's test that hypothesis. Yeah, we can go off any cliff, but we cannot climb them. So... Okay, bad example. You know what? Let's just do this. Into the ocean. Ta-da! But if we try going back, we cannot. 
this is how the garden works. It can go down anything, but it cannot go climb anything. So, uh, Dalit is over here, and it seems like the, a good place to go for our next destination, I think. Uh, if I can remember how the hell to get to it, anyway. I think this'll work. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. So, Dalit! Yeah, uh, we cannot actually pass through here, but it's just over there. So, uh, that's where we'll head. So, uh, yeah. I think I'll stop off here. Join me next time for... No, I didn't, I didn't want to do this. For Dalit! Uh, until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.